Well, we're off to a really nice start this morning. Out in our campus cam right now, we've got some high clouds out there kind of filtering out that sunshine. And it is really nice this morning in terms of temperatures. Mid-60s, feels like the mid-60s, so it's feeling nice and dry if you're heading out the door this morning. And across the area, all of us are in those low to mid-60s. 66 here in Columbus and Starkville. We're a bit cooler over in Coffeyville at 60. So pretty nice start to this Thursday morning. Temperature-wise, we, we are going to heat up. We're going to get into those upper 70s later this afternoon and eventually warming into those low 80s. We're also going to see those clouds start to increase later this afternoon into the evening, and maybe we see a spotty shower or two. So playing that out, we are going to stay mostly dry this morning. We'll see some more clouds start to move in later this afternoon as that rain up towards our north also starts to move in. So maybe we see a shower or two up towards the north near Pontotoc and Tupelo. That's going to continue throughout the afternoon. We'll start to see some more of those scattered showers, mainly up towards the north. For us here in Octobahawk, County, you're just going to keep that cloud cover staying mainly dry. As we go into the dinner time hours, we're really going to start to see those clouds kind of increase and that rain continues to stay up towards our north. Isn't it until overnight that maybe we see a sprinkle or two over for here down down north of the southern parts of our counties. But mainly today, we should stay pretty dry. We're just going to see those clouds increase. So in terms of rain chances for the week, we really are dry for the next few days. It isn't until the beginning of the work week that we see those rain chances really start to ramp up. So this weekend we're very nice. We're staying dry, low 80s both Saturday and Sunday, a mixture of those sun and clouds. Now the thing with the weekend is that it is going to be pretty breezy both days. We can see gusts near 20 to even 30 miles an hour by the weekend. So really nice to study outside if you're studying for final exams, but you may have to hold on to that notebook. And that's because we're seeing a temperature gradient between or a pressure gradient between this high pressure and the low, this is why we're going to see those really strong southerly winds kind of pulling up into this low pressure system that's going to be approaching towards the east. Now we are underneath this high pressure ridge, so you notice those low pressures just kind of bounce up towards the north. Isn't it until the beginning of the work week that we start to see some rain make its way over towards the southeast, and maybe by the beginning, by the beginning of the work week we see some more showers and storms with this. Now also notice this high pressure ridge stays in place here. So what that means for us is that we're going to stay warm and the Climate Prediction Center is expecting the same thing. We're expected to stay above normal for the beginning of May. So warm temperatures for us. In the meantime, today we're staying pretty nice. Maybe we see a sprinkle or two today. Now the weekend though, we are going to have to watch for those windy conditions. And as we go into the beginning of the work week, we really see those rain chances ramp up and then die down as we head into the middle of next week.